A very good way to understand probability is by looking at outcomes of the throw of a dice. Assume a fair dice is thrown. Let's think of all the possible outcomes. You may get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. These are the only possible outcomes for one throw of a dice. In numerical form, we write it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here's the first question. What is the probability of getting a 1? Remember, we need two things to find the probability. First, how many ways in which the event can occur? And second, what are the total possible outcomes? There is only one way in which we can get a 1. That is, if the dice lands a 1. And in all, there are 6 possible outcomes. It means that the probability of getting a 1 at 1 throw of a dice is 1 by 6. Here's the next question. What's the probability of getting a 3? There is only one way in which we can get a 3 and yes, there are 6 possible outcomes. The probability of getting a 3 is also 1 sixth. Since the probabilities are the same, we say that these two events are equally likely. Until now, in all the problems we have seen, the numerator has always been 1. When will the numerator not be 1? Let's zoom out a bit to see the next question. What would be the probability of getting an even number at the throw of a dice? Now it gets interesting. We have to look at all possibilities in which we can get an even number. There are three ways in which we can get an even number. We may get a 2 or 4 or 6. Yes, at one throw, I will get just one number, not three. But remember, the numerator tells us the number of ways in which an event can occur. And it can occur in three ways. And in all, there are six possible outcomes. The number of all possible outcomes for a throw of one dice won't change. It is the numerator that will change in view of what has been asked. So it will equal 3 by 6. This can also be reduced to half but we keep it at 3 by 6 for now. Let's see one last question related to a throw of a dice. What will be the probability of getting an odd number? Three outcomes can result in an odd number. 1, 3 or 5. It means that there are only three ways in which the dice can land an odd number. Either a 1 or a 3 or a 5. And the total possibilities remain 6. The probability will equal 3 by 6. So these two events are also equally likely. It means that if we throw a dice once, the likelihood of getting an even number is the same as the likelihood of getting an odd number. Can you think of an example where two events are not equally likely? We will see that example in the next video.